Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Larissa Sowen joining us now again here as a publisher and author and so much more. I got to say international best-selling author. <laughs> she's here joining yeah. us to talk about the work she's doing to help people like you become best-selling authors. Please introduce yourself to everyone. Hey, Jill, it's so good to be here. Yeah, I I love coming on these shows because I love connecting with your audience in a way that helps me help them essentially. So I work for Next Page Publishing as a publishing lead and we help entrepreneurs grow their businesses with a book. So we, we're, we're here for the entrepreneurs that are soul-centered, trying to change the world, looking to grow themselves and to honor the journey that they've been on and now spread that message forward to help more people. The people that come to us are the author or the entrepreneurs who have maybe been in business for a few years. They've been around the block and now they're ready to step up and scale up. And they're looking for that way to charge more for their services, bring in their ideal clients, 10x their business, get on international speaking stages, and they're really ready to scale up. That is who we work with and how we serve. And we have seen incredible results from our clients that come through and are like, yes, yes, let's do this. And six months later, they are international best-selling authors. It is an incredible process. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 How does it all work, Larissa? Fill us in. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah so we, we have a, a, a wonderful, wonderful network here at Next Page Publishing. And I want to put a plug into all of the freebies that we give away because we are we are of the mindset of where we serve, we should serve. And that's who we work with is the people that are looking for different ways to serve um, their clientele. So if you head to um, nextpagepublishing.net, you can get in line for a bunch of free resources. So even if you're just like questioning, like, is a book the right path for you? What can a book do for me and my business? Head to nextpagepublishing.net. There is tons of free resources there for you. There is blogs, there is podcasts, there is workbooks, um, five-day challenges, whatever you're into to get this book out of your head and onto paper, we have free resources for you. And we do that because our goal is to serve and to give people the power to tell their stories, change their lives and grow their businesses. Um, and we do that through very strategic work we actually have a four phase system that we take all of our clients through and it it helps them with that you know that number one and i'm seeing it so much more in like literally in the last few days people have come to me and they're like i really really want to do this it's a lifetime goal to write the book i want to leave a legacy for my children i want to um pay homage to my parents i want to dedicate it to them to my grandma but i don't know where to start Mm -hmm. where do I start? And so we've actually put together again, a really great free resource that you can head to nextpagepublishing.net and grab. And it's the top three steps that you need to take to start writing your best selling book. And you can grab that for totally for free. And, uh, and yeah, get started today. Oh, I love it. And by the way, how do we reach you? Let's establish all forms of contact, please. Yeah, absolutely. So nextpagepublishing.net is the best place to go. You can find about our programs, our free resources, and even my email. So you can reach out to me directly and we can have a conversation about your unique plan to writing this book because not every plan is the same. And that's why Next Page Publishing is so unique in the publishing space is because we don't put you into a program that's canned. We don't throw you into group coaching that might work for you. And it, you know, you move at the pace of the slowest participant. We are one-on-one. -on -one. We will coach you one-on-one. -on -one. We will create your one-on-one -on -one plan so that you constantly feel our personal support and commitment to you and your projects. We're, we, we're, we're honored to serve that way. Beautiful. Well, it's so exciting to have you here. And I want to hear more of the stories, the people you're helping. I want to hear about your journeys as an author. What did you have in mind? Um, yeah. yeah, let me ask you. <laughs> so I want to talk about book design. Today. Okay. Like I said, we take our authors through kind of a four pillar approach, the writing, editing, marketing, and publishing. And a part of publishing is getting your book ready to be in the world, to exist as a book. So taking it from that Google Doc, that Word document, whatever format it's sitting in, and turning it into that 
beautiful book that you sits on your shelf, sits in your Kindle, is in the hands of, you know, millions of readers. How do you actually do that? Like what goes into that process? And so I want to talk about it of uh, a cover today. What goes into a cover? And a few episodes ago, Jill, you and I were talking about what readers look at when you buy a book, when you go mm-hmm. on Amazon, what are you looking at? And we had talked about, there's kind of three things readers look at. The very first one they see is the cover, which is why your cover is one of the most important elements you can have in a book. The yep. second is title. And the third is ratings. So reviews, what's, how's it ranking on the charts and all of that good stuff. Those are the three things readers look at. And so nailing down your cover is uh-huh. really important. And I want to share an example before we go in of where an author went wrong. And I don't do this out of shame. I do this out of growth because when she and I met, she was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea because it didn't click in her. No one had told her. She hadn't partnered with the right people to tell her that this cover was never going to work for her genre. And so I met with an author. She was already an established author and she was coming to me and she was saying, my books aren't selling. Don't know what to do. My books aren't selling. What do I need to do? And I said, well, first thing, let's look at your Amazon page. Let's go to your book. Let's look at what the readers are seeing and why they're passing over your book. And so her book was on self-sabotage. So it was a self-help book on how to overcome self-sabotage, how to get out of your own way and be your own cheerleader, essentially. And her cover, the first thing I saw when I looked at it was Mm -hmm. um, Fifty Shades of Grey. That was what the cover said to me. Ah. And I was like, Did you mean to do that? And she was like, no, what are you talking about? And I was like, anybody that picks up your book and let's say they don't read the description. They just saw the title or just saw the cover even because the words weren't huge. They were kind of overshadowed by the image. They're going to be very disappointed and they're going to leave you a one-star review because their expectation going into the book was that you were going to give them spice and romance and a little risque and now they're getting a self-help book. That's not what they want. And so they're going to leave a one-star review. And so what we did is we we went through and we rejigged her cover. We made it more pointed to self-help, to self-sabotage, to graphics showing, you know, someone crushing themselves with a boulder essentially pushing it onto themselves and when we by the time we were done it was so much clearer what the book was for if we had done nothing else on her amazon page and and we did we did a lot on her amazon page she would have sold so many more books because readers would have seen from that first scrolling page they would have been like yeah that's what i'm doing i am crushing myself with a boulder i am getting in my own way that's me And they would have been more enticed to at least click further into the book and then get into description and reviews and all of that. So I tell that story because it illustrates how we as authors should not be designing our own covers. We should be partnering with someone who knows our genre, knows our audience, and knows what that that cover needs to be. So when you're picking a cover designer, I'm not saying you can't do this on your own. I'm not saying you can't go to Canva or Adobe and create your own cover, but get the consultation of someone from within your niche. At least bring them in and be like, how does this cover resonate with you? Now, I'll pause there, Jill, if you have any comments or questions. No, my my, my concern is, first of all, it's not a concern. It's a question. It's about... First of all, talking about covers, finding how do you find how do you explain to someone like your vision and how do they get it as the 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 person who's drawing like to get it? Like how do you connect? It's like the same fascination I have with people who unfortunately commit a crime or someone gets mugged and you're trying to talk to a someone who sketches something and try to like explain and the person can like draw it. Like how it's just fascinating to me, right? Like how do you come up with what you're thinking? And like you're trying to think you're the cover of your book, you want it like this and then to get it to paper on pen and coloring it's just a fascinating concept how you can express your thoughts to do the cover but that was one thing how did you pick out your covers like like, yeah crime to book covers (laughs) I've never heard that connection before so I love that thank you I might write that in a blog um so 
I'm going to speak from our experience because we are, again, we're unique. We're partners typically from right from word one to published with our clients. They come to us with the book idea. They maybe have a few words down, but they're developing it with us. They're going through the missions and vision statements. They're creating the book's synopsis and foundation with us. So when it gets time for cover design with us, we know your book inside and out. We've probably read it at least twice before we get to cover design. So when the author finally says, okay, I'm ready to do my cover design, um, the first thing we, we ask is like, okay, send us some examples of what you like in your genre. And this is really important. It's starting to get into tips of like, how do you actually create the cover design? Um, we'll start with do the research in your genre. What do covers in your genre look like? Because there are set expectations of what your book's going to look like. Take children's books, for example. They are illustrated covers, brightly colored. They usually have a main character and some sort of action on them with a beautiful scene to draw children in, um, right? That's what, that's what their audience is looking for. Self-help books are usually pictures, they're graphics, they have usually a title with a little tagline. So there are set genre expectations that you need to have. So but partnering with someone that knows your book, knows your genre, knows you, that process of sketching it out for the, the what's that person called that does the crime photos? Do you remember? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> The, the forensic like, artist will call forensic them. art I perfect yeah so like when you go into the forensic artist you're you're gonna lay out the fundamentals well it was a man it yeah. they were Caucasian they were brown hair and you're gonna give them some of those fundamentals to start with and that's exactly how it works with your cover designer too okay I'm writing in this genre yeah my, my book is for this person it's for mm -hmm. women in their mid-40s um it's the theme is um, learning to love yourself. And so your graphic designer is going to start to formulate these ideas with us. We know the content of your book. So when we get into the nuances now of like, oh, your brand color is uh, violet and gray. Well, we're going to start to build all of that mm -hmm. in. But we know the elements of your story. So we're going to be able to pull out those important pieces that your reader is going to need to know. And for example, I'm working with a client right now. She's she's a wonderful, wonderful woman. And she's writing a book about, um, you know, dropping the need for prescription medication when you could holistically fix your problems. You could look at mm -hmm. diet and health and mindset and sleep and get rid of a lot of your health prescription problems. And so for her, knowing the intimacies of her book, one of the big problems she faces is that mindset that weight is everything. Mm -hmm. So her cover is going to call out to that problem. That is her overarching problem. And because we are partners with her in her book, we can draw that out in the cover image. So when her audience looks at it, mm -hmm. they're going to know this is this is for them. This is directly for them. And it's the same with the criminal artists. We need to know what the fundamentals are before we can start filling in the details. Got it. Thank you. Okay, more about the work you do to help people here for publishing. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> when you become it's authors. Such, I'm sorry I got stuck question. on that. <laughs> Thanks. It's such a great question because it's true. And it's the same with writing our book. We come against the same challenges of how do I tell people what I'm thinking? What is going on in my head? How do I relay it in a way that my audience is going to understand and connect with? And that's why we come in from word one to published and help you with all of that. So again, any tips or resources, or if you want to talk to me directly, we do offer the free 45 minute consultation call to talk about your book, talk about your vision, talk about how it's going to fit into your life and your business, how it's going to achieve all of your goals. You can head to nextpagepublishing.net and find out more about our programs. Find out about our values. Are we a good fit for you? Because we want to work with you if you are a heart-centered entrepreneur who's looking to change the world with their message. That's who we want to work with. So if that's you, then head to nextpagepublishing.net and let's talk about how to make that book a reality.
Oh, we still got uh, nine more minutes to still talk about this reality. What else other advice do you want to give or how we can, you know, inspire people to start writing these books and hiring you? <laughs> yes, absolutely. So uh, let's let's stay on the topic of cover design because cover design is really exciting time for the author because when we get to this phase, we're usually about three quarters of the way through our full program. So we've walked our authors through the entire outlining process. So for those authors that are coming to us and saying, I don't know where to start. Like I know of, I have a book in me. I just don't know where to start. We've walked you through all of that. We've held your hand. We've held you accountable. We've kept you on track to publish your book in six months. You've written it with our partners. You have us as your alpha readers, which is essentially that guide as you write feedback. We've done all that with you. We've put you through multiple rounds of editing. So if you are worried that your book is going to be full of grammar errors and you can't spell worth a darn, and you're worried that your sentence structure is terrible because that teacher in third grade told you you couldn't write a book, we've got you. We've got you covered with our editors. We're going to put you through three rounds of editing. So by the time our authors get to the end of editing, they're tired. And I'm not going to sugarcoat this. It's a lot, right? It's four months of, of writing, of thinking about your message, of contemplating, of growing, of reflecting, of beautiful, beautiful transformation, all with your end goal of growing your business, changing the world, telling your story, getting on stages, whatever your goal is. You've been working for the last four months towards that. This is where design comes in as your reward. You're going to start to see your book outside of manuscript version and in the form of a physical book. And what I love about this is we actually, once we get your design done, we put it into 3D rendering. So you are seeing your book as a book for the first time. I cannot explain what this does to my authors at this point in the process of actually seeing their book come to life. Because like you said, I'm going to take it away from the criminal now because now we're in, we're in happy sides. <laughs> they've had this vision in their mind and they've thought about it. And from up until now, it's only been in their head. They've never been able to describe it. Probably they've never been able to let's bring someone else into that visualization, that power of imagining this thing. And all of a sudden I'm giving them a 3D rendering of their book that they can put on social media, that they can show their mom, their dad, their children, their sisters, their cousins, all the people that are in their corner saying, you need to do this. They can say, look, here it is. This is my book. This is what I've written. So by the time we bring our authors out of the other side, out of that writing vortex that they've been in for a couple of months and show them what their book is going to look like, it gives the this reinvigoration of reality of like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening in less than two months. I'm going to be holding this in my hands. The feel of it, the excitement of it, the anticipation. <laughs> it is. It's so much for an author, especially someone that's been dreaming about doing this for maybe their entire life. They've wanted to be a published author since they were a child because, again, they were drawn into storytelling as a child or they've gone through a lot in their life that they know is going to change the world if they could just tell their story. And to see it in their hands and to picture it and to start imagining what it's going to feel like, the weight of it, what it's going to look like on your shelf next to the biggest names in your industry. It's incredible. It does something to authors that is is unlike anything else. So cover is incredibly important, both for the reader, because of what we just talked about, about you know being the first thing they look at, and for the author, because it's it's the it's the visualization, yeah. the actualization of their dream. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, and you know, for someone out there who's scared. A lot of it, how am I going to do it? How the, I would told you I want to write my own book. I'm scared. I don't have the time. I need help. How do you do it? It's like, but I, I could feel it. I could taste what you're saying about that, 
that feeling, uh, how it's going to feel. And I can picture it and I can't wait to one day do it, but I'm just stuck because, and I'm sure a lot of people are too, because they feel the time, they don't have the time to do it. What would you say to someone like me who is going through this anxiety? Like, <sighs> yeah, there, there's a lot to writing a book and I would really encourage anybody that is in your spot, Jill, to step away from fear for a minute and lean into possibility. What will happen when your book is a reality? What will your kids think? What permissions are you giving them? How are you going to feel after three months of honest self-reflection and working on your dreams? Like this, this is a dream for a lot of people. So what is the end result? Look, feel, taste, smell. What is the full sensation of success? What is it going to do to your business? What is it going to do to your confidence, to your pricing structures, to your clients' lives? What is going to happen when you're successful? And when you start visualizing it, I am a big, big proponent of visualization. When you start to visualize this, you're giving yourself permission to feel it as if it's real. And that fear that's holding you back right now starts to take a backseat. It doesn't, doesn't hold the controls anymore. It's not at the driver's seat. It's not at the, holding the steering wheel. It's not guiding you. Suddenly hope and actualization are stepping up and saying, okay, I really want this. And here's all the reasons it's going to change my life. I just need to go for it. I need to give myself permission to try. Just try. And then partner with someone that's going to get you there. This is the hard part for a lot of people. Um, for example, I just, I'm working with a woman now who has had this dream of writing a cookbook for years. And now cookbooks isn't our specialty. So when she came to me, I was like, I don't know that I can help you. But when we started talking more about it, we got into the why behind her cookbook and it was the storytelling aspect that she was looking for. So we ultimately said, yes, we can help you with that. We are all about storytelling. And one of her big concerns was she wanted to have this done in six months. And she needed somebody that was going to help get her there. And so she found us. We said, well, six months is our timeline. That's what we work to. We can help you get there. So once you move into hope and reality and goal setting and you set aside that fear, find a partner that's going to get you there. Find a partner that believes in you and your mission and wholeheartedly supports what you're trying to do with your book because if you partner with the wrong person you're going to fail or it's going to be very challenging to get up that hill but find the group the person the company that's going to take you all the way through with the support that you need Perfect. Well, thank you for that. And to inspire us further, um, Larissa Sillen, of course, is here uh, guiding us along as a publisher to help you advance to this next level. And she can answer these questions for you. She can help guide you along the way. And I also have to mention, you can also help the pro with the process of helping someone write a book, right? As yeah, far as like ghostwriting, right? Yeah. Well, our calendar actually, blessfully, is full for ghostwriting this year. So we are no longer taking any more ghostwriting clients, which is good for us, good for our clients. And it gives us the space to accept those clients that are looking to write their books with the guidance of our coaches. So our ghostwriting is, it's full on ghostwriting, but we are very much doors open to those that are coming in with an idea, a dream, a want, a need, whatever you wanna call that passion, that drive to write your book. Our doors are open to you to come on in and join our team and let us help you make your book a reality. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much. I appreciate it because I'm telling you, I'm going to do this one day and I'm going to contact you. I'm not kidding. I, I just made a note in my phone, which you might, we can't see it. You can't see <laughs> It says Jill's book. I'm going to start putting my ideas down. I already have, I just got the starting paragraph. You inspired me. Oh, uh, I did I tell you what my, did I tell you what the book is going to be about? No, do tell. Okay. Well, I have a minute quickly, but you know, I'm a host, right? Yeah. As far as um, television, radio, my whole life, I've been a host. What does a host mean? Uh, someone who entertains guests socially or host is someone that lives off a plant or an animal like a host, right? 
But also I'm a host um, where I've hosted my own child. I had a child by myself. So I want to share that journey with people to say it's possible to do it alone. And I have this whole vision of my book cover of me with my pregnant belly with like a little baby with like a microphone in it because I am a host. But to talk about the journey of being a single parent and doing it by myself. And it's just it's amazing. It's just I like the word the playoff of the word host because I am a host and then I make him a host to like a, a baby embryo. And so I I got goosebumps. I'm telling you, I have ideas, but I need your help. So we'll talk about it another time. It's a great story and journey, and it'll inspire so many women out there who, you know, say, oh, I don't have a partner. I can't do it myself. Yes, you can. Okay. Oh, that's so exciting. It's, it's fire, Jill, because you know the impact your book can have, and you know that you're the person to tell that story. I need to tell it and I need your help. Okay. Is that yeah, all right? Okay, I'm going to shoot there. you. I'm shooting you an email. Your next page publishing at outlook.com. That's correct. Yes. I'm going to shoot you an email and we'll keep in touch. Okay. But yeah. I'll see you next week. I hope. And how can okay, we reach yeah, you? How week. can everyone can reach you that email or how else can we reach you? Next page publishing.net. You can go there. You can find out about our programs. You can find all our free resources, join our mailing list, get in on the five day challenge, the workbook, the three top steps to become a best selling author. If there is a drive in you to write that book, go to nextpagepublishing.net, find the resource that's going to get you started and contact us. Just reach out. We can support you. All right. Thank you so much. Love speaking with you. Thank you, Larissa. You inspire me every time and I've got, it'll happen one day. It will. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.